progress towards fear. Bulking. Trust me, you will know when it is happening. Occurs when your body runs out of glycogen stores, leaving you feeling drained. Today, we are talking about what might be a cyclist worst fear, bonking. Now, you may have heard of bonking before, or you may have already experienced your first bonk. Understanding the phenomenon of bonking is crucial for optimizing your performance and keeping you safe on bikes. Bonking, also known as hitting the wall, occurs when your body runs out of glycogen stores, leaving you feeling drained, weak, and unable to continue at your desired pace. Here's a closer look at what bonking is and some strategies to prevent it. Bonking typically happens during longer rides or intense effort when your body's energy demands exceed its available fuel. When you deplete your glycogen stores, your body resorts to burning fat for energy, which is a less efficient process and can lead to a sudden drop in performance. Now you may ask, how do you know if you are bonking? Trust me, you will know when it is happening. Symptoms of bonking include extreme fatigue, dizziness, shakiness and difficulty concentrating. Now that we know bonking happens when your body is depleted of glycogen, let's talk about how to avoid the dreaded bonk. First, it is important to have a balanced pre-riding fueling. Eat a balanced meal containing carbohydrates, proteins and healthy fats before you ride to top up your glycogen stores. It is tempting to grab a protein bar and go, but remember, cups such as oatmeal and whole grain toast can be converted to a molecule called ATP much faster than protein and fats. And ATP is crucial for muscle contraction in high-intensity exercises. So remember to fuel your body properly with enough carbs before you go for a ride. You can also prepare some on-bike nutrition Pack easily portable snacks such as energy bars, gels or dried fruit to eat every 45 minutes to an hour. Aim for around 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour depending on the intensity and duration of your ride. Another thing to keep in mind is hydration. Staying properly hydrated is key to maintaining performance and preventing bonking. Drinking water consistently throughout your ride, especially in hot weather or during intense efforts. Consider using a sport drink that contains electrolytes to replace low sodium and potassium. It is also important to listen to your body and train smart. Pay attention to early warning signs of bonking such as feeling unusually fatigued or experiencing hunger pounds. Don't wait until you're completely depleted to refuel much harder to recover once you've hit the wall. Remember, gradually increase the duration and intensity of your rides to build endurance and improve your body's ability to utilize fuel efficiently. Incorporate both steady-state rides and interval training into your regimen to simulate the demands of longer rides and improve your overall fitness. By following these tips and listening to your body signal, you can avoid the dreaded bonk and enjoy your cycling adventures to the fullest. If you like today's tips, please remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next episode.